You know, it's one thing to be a ginger, but I sometimes wonder what would happen if I was not a ginger. Because, you know, you're always suffering from comments like, God, you know, we're always suffering from comments like, Oh, I don't know. Hey, bro, what color is your armpit here? <laughs> Do you have a soul? And it's just like, I'm answering the same question over and over again. Would you like a peek? But what happens? What, what, what would happen if I told you that if I could turn back the clock, right? And you, you know, if you got blonde hair, black, black hair, dark brown hair, or any type of natural hair color, what if I told you that everybody could have been a ginger? Now, you wouldn't believe, you wouldn't believe me, honestly. You just wouldn't. But I'm telling you now, you're wrong. You see, I'm going to be playing a game, Crusader Kings 3, and I will be turning everybody in England as a ginger. <laughs> now, I know this challenge may be a little bit daunting, but don't get me started, because I have summoned a man. A man just so... A man so vile, alright? He's got the biggest one of all time, okay? This man is Ginger's Christ. What up, baby? I'm here! Yeah, <laughs> like, hey, yo, yo, chill <laughs> down! When are we going to play the game? I need some reading. Are you naked? I'm naked for a good cause! I just came back from a spa! I, yeah, I know, I know, I know. Okay, well, yeah, can you just do your job, okay? Okay. Just get in the game and do your job, no, that's cool. okay? Yeah. Far out. Alright, I'm um, gonna go. Good. Can't wait to have sex! <laughs> get out! Okay. Yeah. Good. Okay. Just... Yeah. Thanks. Jesus. Diving right on in, we decided to start in the Count of Lindsay. To the character customization, I decided to keep myself as a brother of God and a fellow Anglo-Saxon. In the name Gingers, we had to choose the last name, Christ. Quick editor's note, I just realized I named him Chus. <laughs> oh, I need, I need glasses. I, I really do. After finishing a McChicken, I decided to go for a family motto. It's McLovin time, baby. For traits, I went with elusive shadow. Temperate. Honest. Forgiving. Family hierarchy. Legendary blade master. Auguste. And miracle worker, because I thought, you know, we could produce our own holy water, if you know what I mean. Now came the character creation. Needed him to look breathable. God damn, he's looking hot. Finishing our character and changing the name Lindsay to Ginger, it was now time to show England some ginger loot. My first wife had to be a ginger wife, of course. I found a genius, but I just couldn't marry her. But I found Gwechwa. <laughs> I decided to marry her. Going down the worst skill tree in the game, Sedusa. I wanted to become very fertile and be able to sweet talk any type of women because they call me the Rizzler. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Gaining immortality because I have the thickest testicles in the land. Also changing the name of our capital to Sexy Time. Being a council invitation to be a steward of mercy, I gladly accepted that. Requesting a claim on the county of Leicester. Oh. Starting the first Ginger Liberation War, Earl Wolf Helm will feast the wrath of Ginger's Christ. First war went down like a charm. I mean, I'll be 100% honest, that guy, yeah, no, he just did not stand a chance. It was an absolute ass wipe. My first what? son was born, so I didn't know what to name him, so I just decided to give all my children labels. Ginger won. Grabbing more claims from that stupid pope who couldn't resist the ginge. I needed to expand the ginger people as fast as possible, and this guy was not gonna to stop me. The war ended quicker than a five second quickie. Hastine had decided to show himself to me, showing that he was a threat to all ginger people. So I decided to remove the problem. After getting naked with my best friend, we decided to find a common ground on who had a longer schlong, and I'm not gonna lie, I had a good solid 10 kilometers on me. After a failed assassination attempt of Hastine, I just decided to forget about the whole thing, and to be honest, Hastine wasn't worth my time. I had given birth to another daughter, Ginger 2, and I had found that East Anglia had been weakened by the Viking invasions from Ragnar Lothbrok's children, and I decided to take a big shot at trying to invade East Anglia for the Ginge! With another 
another flawless victory under Ginger's Crisis Belt. Our invasion went according to plan. Cornwall would soon follow the same fate as East Anglia as Ginger's Christ was just too damn sexy. For some reason, my daughter was spitting in my son's food. Brother and sister love, eh? Ginger one had finally grew of age to marry. They had given me a grandson not even a couple months after. What a horny couple. Seeing the weakness in the Viking lands of Jorvik, we decided to declare a holy war in the name of my god. About a month in, turns out my wife was tortured to death. I don't know how, what, when, or why, but we had lost Ginger one. Turns out he had died in battle from Earl of Northamptonshire, I swear on my revenge. Getting victory for my son against the Vikings, we had increased our land and our sovereign across the lands of England. And annoyingly enough, I had lost my save due to me resetting my computer due to some technical problems. I had to completely restart my run and I ended up with this goddamn abomination. In our new timeline, we were facing a new cultural identity for the Anglo-Saxon cultures up north. Ginger's Christ had to make a quick decision, but we decided to go for a new identity. We started to identify ourselves as the gingest race, the only race that you needed to be to be a ginger. Granting the titles off to only the gingers, everything was going according to plan. My family was spreading across all of England, knowing that the ginger seed would be very strong. The Pope allowed me to religiously claim the Principality of Powys, and I knew that going to war with them would be an easy task. During a good old bait and switch, we managed to bait his army into a trap in his own capital, and a siege had taken place. And to be honest, this was the only type of action that we would see in this war entirely. With the war coming to a conclusive end after his capture, the gingers were just two steps away from victory. I decided to try and find my son or wife who ended up being related to King Althrin and she turned out to be a little bit young, but it was, it was for the greater good of the country, of course. With our claim on Mercia, it was now time to fight and turns out Althrin had decided to side himself with the enemy. Bolstering our numbers with mercenaries, we were still a little bit short on troops. Marrying my daughter off, I decided to send her off to the Kingdom of Venice, which I've never seen before. I've actually never allied with Venice, but this was a nice change of pace. Along with our allies finally arriving, I decided to move my troops around a lot, trying to just not get stack wiped. We had grabbed a house of warriors and our war with Mercia had ended conclusively. Really, I'm going to be 100% honest, we ended up catching the guy after like one siege. Lucky for us, the Pope was a complete and utter simp who absolutely loved me. And he managed to help us pay our debt from our long war. Now I had to wait to form the Kingdom of England, which was 500 gold. By the time it came around, the Pope had given me even more money and I had formed the Kingdom of England. And just like that, Alfred would accept vassalage from his ginger overlords. With his heir actually being a ginger himself, we knew that slowly the gingers would rise from the ashes to dominate England. Well, yeah, that's that's the entire video. I'm gonna be honest, this video kind of ended in a failure. Uh, yeah, I had actually done a bunch of recording with the previous save, and... I lost all of it because it wasn't on my terabyte hard drive when I reset my computer. It was an absolute, it, it was an absolute bust of a video. So yeah, kind of just ending the video here. Um, I had a lot of fun editing this. Uh, it was definitely new, uh, new way for me to edit CK free videos compared to what I'm actually used to. You know, quick snappy intro, just normal gameplay at the end. Uh, I really love doing the voiceovers and stuff, you know, just talking about the gameplay and this, that, and whatever. Um, now obviously I'm recording this because, you know, I've just wrapped up editing and uh, as you can tell, uh, at the start of the video, I didn't have a beard. Now I've got a beard. So yeah, the video's taken me a good bit because, well, a good, like, 85% of it have been f focused on other projects. But, you know, that's uh, that's 100% that's okay. Um, but yeah, all I really want to say is I really want to make more videos like this. And I would really appreciate it if you guys were to leave a like. And don't forget to... to don't forget to... Just, <laughs> don't forget to, to subscribe to the channel. 
um, yeah, these videos take a long time, and I really appreciate it if you guys would do that. And uh, yeah, honestly, the, the support that you guys showed the channel is absolutely amazing. I haven't really made a 1,000 subscriber special, but uh, I guess this is the 1,000 subscriber special because, you know, I'm a ginger, and uh, I want to do something stupid because I'm stupid, and, you know, why the hell not? CK3 is my favorite strategy game of all time. I mean, it, there's no competition for me, if I'm going to be 100% honest. But uh, yeah, other than that, uh, ignore the very terrible lighting. Um... But all I can say is, make sure you guys stay sexy, be safe, and, uh, yeah, be a, be a good person. Be a good person. And, uh, yeah, have a good one, mates. And, uh, yeah.